good morning. I've got another 12 hour drive ahead of me today. Uh, that's if I make it to Fox Creek. I'll have to fuel at some point. And then from there I've got another two hours to get to Sexsmith. So I'll make it by Thursday. Even if I don't make it to Fox Creek today, I'll, uh, I should be good for a Thursday delivery. Definitely. And then I could get a reload. Hopefully. Me being optimistic, but I'm going to put the hammer down today. I'm really going to push the miles and uh, try and get up to Fox Creek so I can show it you. <sighs> right. Vehicle checks. Let's do it. So the, apparently there's a blitz on um, at the moment and that's, I think they're focusing mainly on brakes, it's where you're going past um, a way station and there's a big push for inspecting vehicles and they have, they have it a couple of times a year, once a year, uh, and I think it's on brakes so I've just done a really thorough test, did the Six pack, uh, compressor's fine, governor's fine, um, did my leak test, did my tractor protection test, um, low air warning system, and yeah, basically it's uh, all looks good, ready to rock. So if I go into a way station now, my weight's illegal, my vehicle is good, so shouldn't be any issues. So, time to go, finally. It's gonna be a long day today, but I'm ready for it. I had a good sleep last night. Went straight after my, uh, after my dinner, after my tea. Out like a light. So, I'm ready for this, let's do it. So I just fueled up at Saskatoon. I'm driving down the road. Oh man, I've just got some bad news from back home in the UK. And I'm stuck out here. Very good. And I knew it was coming. 
person said when I came over here to uh, not go back, not, not to wait. Don't wait. And if anything happens, don't come back. So, I'm packed up for the night. Didn't quite make Fox Creek. It doesn't matter. I'm uh, just before Fox Creek. I still drove for 12 and a half hours today. And I'm at a place called White Court. Um, so I've also not that far to go to get to my destination. So, not done too bad really. With that news today, that was a bad day. It's weird. I just feel that I'm just. I'm just gonna keep going because what else can I do? I just need to. I don't know what to do. I just wanna be be in the UK. I'm gonna get this off, get reloaded. I've got my reload and that's going back to Big Freight. Back in Manitoba, so. I need to weigh up how I'm gonna get home, but it's so expensive. I don't just wanna be, <laughs> I just wanna be back there and I can't. Not been a good day. And I'm gonna get a restless night's sleep, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, as I expected, it wasn't a very good sleep. I uh, spoke to a family briefly this morning.
Juma delivery this morning. Juma delivery this morning, and uh, this collection I was going to get tomorrow morning, but I've managed to get it tonight. So I basically put it on a break all day. So I've had my daily rest, and I'm going to go pick it up and drive into the night. Probably get back to Edmonton. And then uh, reset for the for the morning. Well, it'll take me up until about midnight in Edmonton to get to Edmonton. So I've got 17 hours 33 ahead of me to get back to depot. So it's two days driving. So I'm back on the uh, highway. I'm just headed to uh, the 16, highway 16 that goes east. And that'll pretty much take me right the way to Edmonton. I'm going to be uh, super alert driving at this time. So I managed to get past Edmonton. And I'm on my way to Saskatoon, which means I'll just after my break now you'll only add about seven or eight hours to get back to Big Freight. But I've just been given a phone call from my sister. And uh, I think I'm too late. 